Along with the launch of the Bray Wyatt edition in WWE 2K24, we saw patch 1.22 get released the day before. Within that patch, we discovered some new superstars that would then get released via my faction. Although a lot of people have been complaining, I got some new juicy details that you might be excited for. Not only if you enjoy the mode, but if you want to get some new characters for your universe and just overall gameplay experience. Now, the downfall to it is that you're probably going to have to spend some money. And if you haven't seen my most recent video, I uncovered the truth behind WWE 2K24 and that Bray Wyatt edition that just came out as a standalone pack. So please check it out. It's the last video on the channel. Link will be in the comment section for you to click and see for yourself and join the discussion so let's get into today's video we got some new badges to go over for these superstars and we also have the artwork pause at any time for you to see the details within each wrestler that's going to be featured in this pack as we went over in the patch 1.22 video now they are packing some good badges because you're probably going to have to spend a good amount to acquire these cards which again is probably the most negative thing about this but if you remove that from the equation and you think about the fact that these cards are superstars that we want to see in the game you see them right here we got Rhea Ripley and you have her crown jewel look along with Triple H the king of kings which means he's going to be wearing that mask now in the ring not just in his entrance and then you got Booker T 2001, you got CM Punk 2010 with the long hair, and you also have the masked version of CM Punk from 2010, as well as the bald version from the Straight Edge Society. Now these superstars, as you see the logo by the card, they are all Persona cards. Those Persona cards will be playable outside of my faction if you acquire it. The good thing about knowing where they're at now is that we don't have to wonder if you're going to need another card to acquire that card via a challenge. We know that they're going to be packaged within a pack, at least for their initial launch, before they hit the My Faction, you know, store for you to purchase individually. So that's, you know, something that you're going to have to take with a grain of salt, especially if you don't want to spend money. I could see why the community would be super upset about this but overall the Bray Wyatt edition has now been available for at least 24 hours and I can easily say that you are gonna get bang for your buck I did talk about this in my initial review slash first impression video so I'm kind of mentioning the same thing over again but there's a lot of people speculating whether this is well worth the ten dollars or not and in my opinion if you're a Bray fan I just don't see how you pass up on getting this pack especially with the contents that it comes with including that uncle howdy face scan with Bo Dallas now a lot of people have been recreating Bo Dallas I'm gonna be doing a separate video covering that on the channel so stay tuned for that one because Bo Dallas has been recreated by what's the status and so many other users that have put his modern attire as well as different attires for him to don a different mask so looking good for wwe 2k24 and its near future considering that we're still waiting on that wcw pack that will be dropping in november you know so that's all i ever wanted when it comes to this game we already have a good amount of match types some fun game modes to enjoy despite universe mode being broken for many i've still you know enjoyed it somewhat to an extent and my gm is definitely something that i want to get into especially on stream to create a series where we can come back to and enjoy for the rest of the year because honestly 2k25 is just around the corner we are about to embark on that journey where we're going to uncover all the teases and we're going to get new details in january or this year is probably going to be february because that's when they're doing the royal rumble so we're probably going to have to hold off a, a couple extra days than we normally you know have to but that's okay my point is at the end of the day we are looking good in terms of wrestling in the wwe 2k series overall 
Now, I did discuss in the comment section in my last video that I don't like their business practice, and, and I'm going to stand on it here while I end the video. I don't like the fact that you have to buy a bunch of packs to acquire retro versions of superstars that are already in the game. I don't like the fact that they're trying to monetize and create microtransactions for just about everything and anything post-launch. I feel like they should encourage users to buy the game even if it's just a standard edition so they can get some free updates throughout the year. Like we could have gotten Naomi, for example, if they were going to just re-release her from an older version or we should have gotten, you know, some new arenas. What even if it was in the season pass, I feel like they need to expand what they've offered in recent memory to ultimately satisfy more users. You're not going to really satisfy every single person as cool as I think as this toy version of Bray Wyatt is. I know there's a lot of people out there that are not too happy or thrilled to have him in their collection. And it is what it is, right? You can't please everyone. But at the end of the day, you can only try to put your right foot forward and start working towards giving us more of what we want and less of what we hate so i'm done with this video i want you now to hit me up in the comment section are you looking to pick up anybody from that new pack they just revealed i'm honestly excited for this eros pack thank you what's the status for putting this information out there i appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one thank you for tuning in let's go